Hi, Glenn Phillips with Lake Homes Realty and LakeHomes.com. If you're thinking about buying a lake home, or maybe if you already own one, uh, do you really understand how the water levels of the lake impact your lake home's value or the home you're wanting to buy? Today I'm going to give you four quick ideas about the water levels and what you should look for when you're buying that lake home and how you should price your home if you're selling it based on the water levels that the buyers will be understanding. So first off, we need to keep, pay attention to flood zones. Uh, this actually impacts not just the home's value, but the cost of insurance. Uh, FEMA has setbacks about how, where floods may take place, just like they do at the beach, and how close the home is to a level that's expected could possibly flood, even if it's a 100-year flood, impacts the cost and the value. This is why in some markets you see homes that are, are lakefront, but if it's real gradual incline, the home may be quite some distance from the water. That's probably because of the flood zone. Item number two on my list, deep water. How deep is that water in the lake? And this varies by all around the lake. Some lakes are very deep in spots and shallow in others. Some are known as shallow lakes. When does deep water matter? Well, one, uh, if you're going to have a dock, it needs to be deep enough for your boat to come up to uh, your, your property. And so dockable water has to be deep enough. And that doesn't mean really, really deep. It can be really just a matter of, of only a few feet. Uh, but that also impacts the, uh, the ability of how often that property can be used. The second thing about deep water is that the, the deeper lakes, they tend to get cold, but a lot more of the, the things that come into the lake that filter out drop further down in a deep water lake. Uh, the fishing may be different in a deep water lake. That doesn't mean deep water is best. They're each your personal choice of whether you want deep or shallow. Some people like a shallower lake. There may be better, different fishing opportunities. They may even feel safer. If you fall off your paddleboard, you may can even just stand up, and that may make you feel more comfortable. But it does impact what the homeowner thinks they want to do with that property at the lake. Okay, number three. Seasonal water. Now that doesn't mean the water uh, is something that just disappears completely, but there may be a several foot drop during parts of the year. So if somebody talks about year-round water, they're saying that the water level stays high and usable all year long, or most of the year, or maybe every few years they'll drop it for maintenance. But seasonal water happens at a lot of lakes where they lower the level several feet uh, that's set by some regulation and standards. It's planned. There's a date they begin dropping and a date they raise that water uh, so that you can know that some parts of the lake may not be usable as for water sports or boating during parts of the year, but they're great the rest of the time of the year. Uh, so is the lake have seasonal water? And if so, it goes back to the depth. Number four, and this is an interesting one, is that some lakes have water level changes that change daily, like 12 to 18 inches uh, variance during the day. Well, now why does it, that happen? These lakes are often used for, for some type of uh, electrical generation and planning where they may even have two lakes in a system and they, or reservoir and they actually pump massive amounts of water up into a reservoir and then let it flow back down for cooling and hydroelectric purposes. And so there are lakes where the water level will change daily and you have to be aware of that to see, particularly if you have sort of shallow water near your dock, is your dock gonna be usable all day long or not? You may have to plan for that. Now, this doesn't mean that, that all these things are gonna to align to get you the best value in a home. You just need to know what to expect and plan for, and that you may pay a premium for some aspects you desire that are more popular than for others. Anyways, all these things impact value. Go into them understanding what you're buying and ask these questions. Be sure that you don't get surprised after you buy your lake home. And if you're selling, understand these buyers are going to ask these questions and be ready to have a great answer uh, through your agent. Be sure and visit us on lakehomes.com. We've got a lot more videos. We've got articles about information like this, as well as tens of thousands of lake homes and lots for sale all over across the country. And we've got our own licensed agents that are available to answer your questions, including those about the water at the lakes you're interested in. Thank you and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.